heard probably about the, the white L and the black butterfly, how they exist in the city. Those who haven't, the white L is this Charles Street corridor, uh, really from, from Towson uh, all the way down to the center of the city. Uh, gets down to downtown to the harbor, cuts east uh, towards uh, Fells Point and Canton. Uh, if you look at it on a census map where white people and black people in Baltimore City are distributed, you'll see all these blue dots for white people uh, concentrated along an L. It looks like an L when you see those dots. And then you see black folks uh, represented as, uh, as red, and it looks like a red butterfly when you look on a, on a census map. So within that white L, um, our neighborhood is the most diverse. It's the only majority black neighborhood in the white L. Uh, I'm the only black community association president uh, in the White L as well. As well, so we've we've got a lot of um, stuff going on. And we, one thing I recognized was just that there. How do I explain this? So, so Baltimore. I moved here from. I lived in Europe for a, for a long time. Uh, moved to Baltimore, bought our house at 23rd in Maryland. And I just, you know, and I don't have a car, so I'm walking everywhere. I walk everywhere. Came here by foot today. Um, and the city, when the uh, Amazon HQ2 proposal was coming out, uh, I was frustrated because I saw the city just automatically say Port Covington. Everything was about the waterfront, Port Covington. Now I knew Baltimore probably didn't have a, a shot really getting uh, Amazon HQ2, but I said, you know what, we've got a lot of assets here in our part of the city, um, so why don't we just put in our own proposal? So uh, I put together our own independent bid for Amazon HQ2, and I put a dot right at the intersection of North and Charles, and then drew a one mile radius uh, around that dot because the Amazon RFP was asking for what sorts of amenities do you have within a one mile radius of the point where you would uh, like, us to, like them to locate. And within that one mile radius, within that circle, I hit Sandtown, Winchester, I hit uh, Mount Vernon, I hit Oliver, I hit my neighborhood, Old Goucher, I hit Charles Village, Remington, Greenmount West. All these neighborhoods are literally within one mile uh, I mean, it took me about 15 minutes to walk from my house to here today. Uh, and I think it's interesting that in Baltimore, we have so much of, of this, these ideas of, of this is my territory, this is your territory, this is my neighborhood, this is your neighborhood. Um, when the truth is, the truth is we're, it's an incre incredibly compact city. Everything's very, very close to each other. All the neighborhoods are very close to each other here in Baltimore. So um, I decided to start pulling together a coalition uh, of neighborhoods uh, sort of have an informal name for it right now, the Center City Neighborhoods Alliance. Uh, and it, it includes, you know, the neighborhoods along this Charles Street corridor, so it's Green Mount West, it's Old Goucher, it's Remington, it's Mount Vernon, uh, it's Oliver, Johnston Square. We had some folks from, from Sandtown, we had a gentleman from, from Arco uh, who was with us. Uh, trying to think from where else, uh, some other groups, but, you know, the idea is to get us all communicating uh, in, in, in that way, and what I'd like to, to turn the narrative into in Baltimore is really one away from my neighborhood versus your neighborhood, and, and certainly away from black Baltimore versus white Baltimore, but really into urban Baltimore versus uh, sort of the less dense suburban parts of the city and the region.